So I called this talk On Mathematical Surprise, but I could just as easily have called it On Mathematical Mess, as I hope that you'll see. Uh, but are we as math teachers prepared to be surprised by our students? Are we prepared to be surprised by their thinking and our thinking? So in this case, the number of cubes is disguised, and students were asked to make powerful conjectures about what was there. Um, but the mystery of this spatial task was ignited for them. Mathematical wondering space. Given time and space, your students will ask questions. Like, I wonder when pi ends. I wonder if pi ends. They will have these sorts of questions. This came from our wonder wall last year, a space for wondering. Uh, I love pictures of students about to write because we don't know what's going to be on there, and we will be surprised every time if we open spaces for mathematical thinking uh, for our students, every single time. Uh, in this case, all this beautiful chart paper, all this work, we anticipated the math that they would do with unit rates. We still didn't predict all the strategies, and we knew the math. There was three of us there. We knew it, and they still surprised us, and they always will. Uh, when you let your students talk, they will surprise you. So in this case, a boy made a very powerful conjecture, and he took the lead with his group, and his teacher had said, I've never seen that side of him before. Uh, in this case, an unexpected thinking tool. I was surprised that students would even want to use Minecraft to construct a bar graph. It was to be a double bar graph to compare two quantities. It was very surprising. Um, this is a Minecraft flat world, and it's literally an infinite space. So what could be in there? What mathematical objects? What powerful proofs, conjectures, problem solving? What could happen inside that space? Uh, I didn't think of that always happens. When you look at student work, it always happens. In this case, the, the so familiar tables and chairs and all the teachers and all the minds in the room, we still didn't think of all the strategies that our students would use. And hopefully you're picking up on the theme here. Um, surprised by mess. To me, this is beautiful, but you have to let that surprise emerge. It doesn't matter that it's messy. The thinking's there, and there's something there just waiting to be found. Um, are you surprised that I think this is a beautiful solution? It doesn't look like much, okay? But the wonderful explanation the two girls did, it's the very familiar problem about handshakes. Um, it was absolutely wonderful. And they surprised us with the depth and the quality of their thought. Uh, these lightning flashes of insight that our students will have, um, the students' insight into this pattern, grouping the three, and he wanted to share because it was so powerful to him. Uh, students constructing general proofs um, for area of a trapezoid. Are we surprised that they can do that, like mathematicians would do? That they can start with specific trapezoids and try and construct a general proof for all cases? Because they can. Uh, critical insight. I don't know what math is for if we can't say this is the biggest ripoff ever. If we can't say that, what's it for? And that's critical thinking right there. We want them to say that. We want them to feel ripped off. Uh, what's a fair price? I love going back to this task because one student said 11 cents, not 12, not 10, exactly 11 cents. So at $1.50, it's obviously overpriced. We should listen to her. That's critical thinking. Uh, grappling with very big ideas. A student had a conjecture about what happens when you try and divide by zero, or rather what does not happen, or what could happen, or we don't know what happens. Are we surprised that they can and do want to grapple with those ideas? Uh, the surprising power of doubling. Another familiar problem, one penny, two pennies, four pennies over the course of a month. You've probably heard of that problem. Uh, surprised by the power of exponents. Aren't they surprising? Aren't they surprisingly powerful? Students can make their own mathematical models. A student wanted to tell me that he thinks Sidney Crosby will finish with exactly 1,489 points, but that was based on his model, not mine. I didn't give him that model, okay? And he surprised me with his model and the strength of his thinking. Different kid, different chart paper. You know what's about to happen here? More surprise, more beautiful thought, and more thinking's about to appear on, appear on that page. Are we open to it? Or do we think we know where the problem should or needs to go? I left this, uh, well, I just left it blank, so just in case I was running a little behind and I needed to catch my breath, but um, it's another open space for thinking. Let's just call this white space the metaphor right there. 
Uh, thank you very much.